Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Viking Size Gamer, and today we have more WWE 2K20 news and rumors coming to you. But of course, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon as well to make sure that you get all the latest WWE 2K20 news and rumors, updates, gameplays, and exclusives when the game starts revealing. First off, let's talk about something the possibility of the cover being revealed soon. Now of course we all know that NBA 2K20 was revealed on Monday. This is crucial to the WWE 2K20 marketing. Now why is that? Well generally NBA does come first as we explained in a previous video. So when we see NBA being done, that means that WWE isn't usually too far behind. It could be a week, it could be two, it could be three. But the meaning behind this is, is that WWE 2K20 marketing is is going to be happening soon, which is obviously great for every single one of us as we want to see cover reveals coming up. But could we see something similar to the NBA 2K20 where they do have three different editions, having the normal edition, the deluxe edition, and the legend edition, but having slightly different covers, but also on the legend edition having a completely different cover this year, possibly multiple people. It's very different and the feel for this game seems different. Both WWE and NBA seem to have had a lot of work putting in it this year. From what the rumors are saying, it seems like a lot of money's been put in, a lot of thought, and a lot of time and effort this year. WWE 2K20 this year is going to be the fifth year with them as their publisher under 2K that they have owned the IP, and I suspect having done this for the last five years, they have something up their sleeve that they've been working on for a long time. Now the next piece of news is the fact that WWE 2K20 could be making its way to Stadia. Now I say this because it's recently been revealed or confirmed that both NBA 2K20 and Borderlands 3, who both come under 2K as a publisher, have been confirmed for Stadia this year. Now that's absolutely fantastic for people who can't afford consoles but would like to use something if they've got a decent enough internet connection, and this really allows them to open up a new avenue and use the Google platform to really use that service service and get their products out to people who want to play the game but can't afford these consoles. I don't know about you, I'm not a big fan of Stadia, it's not for me, the subscription model seems a little bit dated, Microsoft seems to have got it right with their low price point, but Stadia seems a little bit more expensive than what I would be willing to pay, considering you have to buy the games outright in order to use it, and of course the subscription model is actually quite expensive if you're going to try and get these games as part of the games that they have in their Netflix-like service. For me, this is a little bit higher than what I'm willing to pay, and as I said, the Microsoft really kind of hit the nail on the head with the exact amount that I would expect to pay for a Netflix kind of game streaming service like Microsoft has done. Now for me, this isn't really big news, but of course if you're somebody who's going to invest in Stadia and you're going to be heavily involved with the Google platform, this is actually quite exciting for you guys, so please do let me know if you are planning on getting Stadia and if you're going to be playing the game on there, because I'd be very interested to know exactly how many people would actually like to use this service from a 2K point of view. Would you play Borderlands 3 on there? Would you play NBA on there? Would you play WWE 2K20 on the Stadia platform? Let me know down in the comments. Apart from that, we're not going to wait for much longer, hopefully, with the WWE 2K20 release but we're still waiting. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more WWE 2K20 news, rumors, exclusive gameplay and content as it does get delivered, and I will catch you in the next video.